Curtin Trades here, and today I'm going to show you how to use an undercoating gun, and I have an awesome kit that I got from Warehouse 9000. This is everything here that's included in the kit. I'm going to go over everything and how to set it up and how to use it. And um, these kits are really nice because they have everything that you need if you've never used an undercoating gun that uses an air compressor. And they also come with a nice handy sheet that shows you everything you need to do to make sure you're doing it correctly. And I'll post a link in the description where you can purchase this kit. This company, Warehouse 9000, they may have some really good kits out there too. This one came with a gallon of fluid film. So you literally just buy this kit and you have everything you need to start undercoating your car. And then the other really nice thing is they have different sets of kits depending on what you want in a kit. So they have ones that have more canisters, they have ones that have more attachment points or less attachment points. If you want just the gun, you can do that or have it come with the fluid film. So there's a lot of different options um, all from the same company, which is really awesome. And the price is really, really, really good. Um, and so I'm going to show you how to use an undercoating gun. It's very simple. And the reason you would use an undercoating gun is because it's much quicker to undercoat a vehicle and it uses a lot more of the fluid film and you can get a lot more on your vehicle much quicker. Also, if you're doing multiple vehicles, it's a lot easier if you have your gun all set up and you can shoot a whole bunch of cars all at once. The alternative is using the cans. I have used the cans in the past. There's nothing wrong with the cans if you're doing like one car, like a small car, but if you're doing like a big truck or an SUV or a couple cars, I definitely recommend going with the undercoating gun because it's a lot faster and also puts a lot more product. I'm gonna do a quick comparison too. I'll show you what it looks like with spraying um, with the cans and with this so you can kind of see the difference between the two. It's nice to see a little comparison. That way you know if you think you might need to just stay with the cans or if you want to use the undercoating gun kit. So as you can see, it's a lot smoother. It's a lot more even coating. This is a lot more like particles splattering everywhere. Um, and it just coats it a lot, lot faster with the spray gun, obviously. So you're gonna be able to do a car way, way, way quicker. I did it on the outside just so you could see it a lot better than on the underside here. All right, so this here shows everything that came in the kit. This is the undercoating gun. This is the brass tip. The one big thing that was a little confusing um, is you don't need to screw these brass tips in there very far. If you screw them like all the way on, then no, nothing's gonna flow out of the tip of the gun. So you only need to do it a couple revolutions, like two to three max, and then you tighten down this locking ring here to tighten it down onto the tip. Um, and you'll notice because it won't won't work very well if, it, if you have it on there too far That's the biggest thing to know when you're doing this The only other thing that it didn't come with is this connector to connect to an air hose These are like 50 cents at any hardware store um, But just to note you do need um, one of these connecting clips here um, And then this is basically the pickup for the fluid film it Screws into this hole here And then once you do that you fill these canisters with fluid film or your preferred undercoating. Take the tops off. Put them on like this. Connect your air and then you're pretty much good to go. If you're using just this here, this is just a normal spray. It sprays out. You can also use these two included wands. This one has just an opening on the end. Um, if, you, if you have a hard to reach spot or like inside the frame rail in a hole and you wanna spray it way down in there, you can go in there pretty far with that. Um, and the only other reason you'd wanna use that too is sometimes this is a little bit bulky and if you need to get it in a tight spot, you're gonna to wanna to use the wand attachment. And then to attach them, you just take this one off Screw this one on. Again, just only two to three revolutions and then tighten down the locking nut to keep those on. And then this one is for use in doors. This is basically a 360 sprayer instead of just having one hole on the end. Also has tiny holes on the sides. So we'll basically spray it every direction, like a 360. Also comes with a little brush if you have tight spots or by the brakes because you don't want to spray your brakes or your tires or your exhaust. You can use this brush to just dip it in the fluid film paint it on there. Some of the kits also come with plugs. If you do want to drill holes in the doors or the frame, um, you can spray fluid film in and then put those plugs on there. This kit didn't come with those plugs, but some of the kits they offer do come with that as well. And then again, it has the instructions on the best way to use it, how to clean the gun and those sorts of things. 
Um, the biggest tips I can tell you is the warmer the fluid film is, the better. So what I like to do is after you fill this up with fluid film, I like to put it into warm water with the cap on it. Obviously put the cap on it, dump it in a thing of warm water, let it sit there to warm up and it sprays better out of the gun. And also once it's on the vehicle, it will spread a lot better. So as you can see, this stuff's pretty thick. Um, and then the more you warm it up, again, the thinner it's gonna be. There's no easy way to get this in here. It's just hard to do. Um, I'm sure there's a better way. If there is a better way, let me know so I don't look like a fool making a big old mess. The other thing too is you can leave this fluid film in this can with the lid on it. You don't need to put it back in if you have extra. Um, so don't feel like you're wasting it if you leave it in there or have to get it back out of this container. Fluid film is pretty, you can see the stuff, it's like straight waxy stuff. Um, and the good thing about fluid film is it doesn't ever harden. So if you leave it out like this, it's gonna stay wet and soft like this pretty much for forever. I still have spots on my car that I sprayed eight years ago that are still wet to the touch. And if you're curious how fluid film works, um, I have some long-term reviews of it on my channel. I'll post a link at the end of this video so you can see. Um, but I've been using it for eight years on my car and there's literally almost zero rust on the thing. It's amazing how well this stuff works. Thing of warm water, bucket of warm water and then we'll uh, be ready to spray. Cause again, it's pretty thick and it'll spray a lot better. Um, the other thing the sheet said is you can uh, cut it with um, veggie oil. So you can pour some veggie oil and mix it up just so it's a little bit thinner um, and it'll spray a little bit better like that too. I just got done soaking it in hot water. Um, so it's a little bit loosened up. I'm gonna add in some veggie oil as well to uh, dilute it a little bit and mix it up a little bit. And that way it'll spray a little bit better here. Clean out your uh, gun. You can just put some warm water in the other one. And that'll pretty much clean out all of it in a couple seconds. So again, this is a really all-encompassing kit. It's super easy to use, um, and it's at a really good price point too. So if you wanna purchase this, check out a link in the description, and you can buy it from there on Amazon.